12, roger. Tell us what happened. I was coming home from work, and some man grabbed me, and he pulled me into his van, and he raped me. Look, you're safe now, Miss Brown. We'll have to ask you a few questions. If you prefer to speak with a female officer, we can have one here in five minutes. How long ago did he leave? Fifteen minutes ago. All right, can you give us a quick description so I can get a broadcast out? I don't know he was wearing a ski mask, but I know that he was black. He was tall, about your size, and he had on jeans and a sweatshirt. It was gray, I think. How about the van? Do you remember if he put you in a rear door or a side door? A rear door. Did you see a license plate? But it was white. I remember that. And it had maroon carpet. The shaggy kind. When he left the garage, did you see which way he turned? I don't know. Left, I think. I'm not sure. Did he take any property? Yes, he took me. The pastor took me. Sorry, but uh, I need to ask you a few more questions. Did he have a weapon? Yes, yes I, I didn't see it, but I felt it. Can you tell me what happened from the time that he grabbed you? He pushed me up against the van, and he pulled my arm around the back. And he said to me, don't move, don't scream, just do what I say. And he had my hair jerked back. And the knife, the blade, I felt it right here. I didn't know what to do. I thought I'd always know what to do in this situation, but it happened so fast. I couldn't move. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't even think. And then he pulled me into the van, and he was kicking me and slapping me. And he held me down with a tire iron around my neck. And then, and then he started. He did everything. And he made me do everything. And when he was done, he took my underwear and wiped his own. Could be important evidence. Do you still have them? Fifteen or twenty minutes. Maybe the driver saw something. Or in the plane. Doctor Blair, Doctor Blair, Doctor Jay Memorial Doctor Jay Hamilton. How you doing? How do you think? Has anyone talked to you? Yes, they asked me for my insurance. 
I want to get out of these clothes and they won't let me. Oh, that's because if the man who raped you is caught, we have to be able to testify in court that they are your clothes. They may also contain evidence, uh, carpet fibers, hair. Look, you don't understand. I have to get out of these clothes and into a shower. I can still smell them. Okay. Let's get this process done out. You just step up that please. put the thumb out of those clothes. Are there any uh, medical conditions we should be aware of? No. Are you allergic to any medication? No. What are those envelopes? A uh, sexual assault kit. Your doctor will explain it to you. Are you bleeding anywhere? Oh, what is the case number on this? Okay. Where else were you penetrated? Everywhere. Well, I'll do more swabbings. I'm Dr. Lee. I'm going to take blood to screen for any sexually transmitted diseases. I'll prescribe antibiotics as well. Are you using any birth control? No. You might also want to think about an abortion pill. And you're going to have to see your own physician for a follow-up. Okay, lie back, scoot down, beat the stirrups. Dale Johnson from Parker Center. Where's your victim? Ready for pictures? She's in with the doctor. Her name is Michelle Brown. Maybe I have time for a cup of coffee? Yeah. Yeah, they just started. Excuse me. Uh, how about a social worker? Can we get one down here to deal with her? Um, well, you'll have to call one. I'm a nurse, not a switchboard operator. Hopefully, with some luck. Hopefully? Why am I doing all of this? Because we need evidence. Everything they're doing here, we can use in a courtroom. In the next couple of days, you'll probably get a call from one of the detectives in the sex crime unit. When is this going to end? None of you, you don't care. I'm like some number on some report or something. That's not true, Miss Brown. I know it's not easy, but we've got to do all this. You don't know anything. Okay, so why don't you just get out of here right now, okay? Hi. Hi there. You have some good news. They arrested the man who raped you. I know. The detective phoned this morning. That's why I called you. Um, I want you to tell them that I'm not going to testify. I can't go through this anymore. Maybe if you give it a couple of days. Think about it. No. I called the women's center and they told me what to expect. They said that his lawyer will just make it look like I asked for it and that I'll have to describe everything that happened and explain to them what he did to me. And I can't do that. I won't. Don't you want him to pay for what he did? Everything he puts you through? Yes. But nothing they can do to him will change what he did to me. If you don't prosecute this guy, you'll be his victim for the rest of your life. Look, I didn't see his face. I can't identify him. They have other evidence to convict him. And the detectives say that they have a very strong case. Then what do they need me for? 
because the law says that you have to tell your side of it in court. Think about the other women this guy will rape. That's a decision that they'll have to make. You know he'll be back out on the streets today. That's not my problem. No. But it's our problem. 